Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to One of in Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet. And before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone. So Doja Cat announced that her album Scarlet will be coming in a few weeks and the official release date is September 22nd. Now, when Doja did make this announcement, she also revealed the album cover art to Scarlet. However, she did change it because the artwork was very similar, very much so identical to another band's artwork and they also would be dropping an album soon. So of course, Doja and her team did have to make a change. And we all know Doja is in her dark era and she did stick to the same theme and she did update the cover art to Scarlet and she did stick to Spiders. Now, after Doja Cat did change her cover art, many fans did accuse her of stealing another artist's cover art, and she was also called out for possibly copying Nicki Minaj and her previous art covers as well. Now, in my opinion, I do see some similarities, but I don't think that Doja Cat just stole Nicki's album covers. And to play devil's advocate, we all know that Doja Cat has said publicly many times that she is a Nicki Minaj fan. Now, even though Nicki did unfollow Doja and Doja unfollowed Nicki on social media, doesn't mean that they're not cool behind the scenes. And people have talked crap about Doja when she has shown love to Nicki. People say that she's sucking up to Nikki. However, when she doesn't say anything about Nikki publicly or show love to her in the way that some fans want her to, then she's fake and she used Nikki to get a number one. So people are fickle and I don't think that Doja stole, but she is influenced by Nikki. Now, speaking of Doja and Nikki, fans felt like Doja Cat may have been shady Nikki in her new single called Demons. Fans felt like the line Percocets got you playing with your nose was about Nikki. Doja also went on to say, I'm the fastest growing bee on all your apps now. You are tired of me cause I'm on your now. Now this isn't the first song that Doja Cat was accused of shading another female artist. Fans felt like she did diss Megan Thee Stallion and Paint the Town Red and also may have thrown some shots at Cardi B on her single called Attention. Doja did go on to respond to the rumors by saying this, I don't diss people I'm inspired by. I don't diss people I look up to. I don't diss people who don't attack and harass me every day. Y'all do. She doesn't. They don't. Y'all are. The problem, Doja also went on to say, people don't want to accept I'm dissing them. So they try to pin it on Cardi, Nicki, and Meg and every other female rapper. I don't diss rappers. I diss critics. Stay bored. Stay reaching. And I will say I am glad that Doja did come out to address this and say that she isn't dissing Nikki Cardi or Megan because some people will go on with that narrative. So to end the beef or drama before it even starts, I'm glad that Doja did come out to debunk those rumors. Now moving along to the last topic. Now Cardi B came out a few days ago and she did post a video saying that she had an announcement to make the following day. And I noticed when Cardi did upload this video, there was a song playing in the background. And the song that was playing is called Addictive by the artist Truth Hurts. And I do believe the song was playing in the background because Cardi B may be sampling this song for a new single. Now, when Cardi B did make this upload, a lot of fans did assume that she was coming with new music and some fans did call her out for dropping new music around the same time as Nicki Minaj. Cardi B did go on to respond on the Neighborhood Talks post and she did go on to say this, these comments are vicious. So, in y'all delusional minds, I'm supposed to drop when? In 2025? Girls been dropping every month and I still stuck with my plans. So now I gotta wait six months after B's drop? Do I need permission or something? See y'all tomorrow. Now it does seem like Cardi B did keep her word because the next day Cardi B did make an announcement. Cardi announced that she will be dropping a new single with Megan Thee Stallion this Friday called Bongos. Which, in my opinion, I do look forward to hearing Megan Thee Stallion hasn't put out new music in a while. And Cardi and Megan have collaborated before on the song called WAP a couple of years ago and it did do well on the charts. So I would like to see how this song will do on the charts compared to WAP and see if they will have the same success. 
Now things did get a little shady when Cardi B did make this announcement. Now not too long after Cardi B did make her post, Fans did notice that Nicki Minaj was active online and she dropped a new photo onto her timeline and she released the cover art to her upcoming album Pink Friday 2 which will be dropping November 17th. And to get into the cover art for a second, I will say Nikki looks so elegant and so peaceful and she looks like money and royalty. I love the scenery in the background and she really does look like a queen sitting high in the sky on her throne. Now going back to the Nikki and Cardi shade, now I do feel like the timing of both posts was shady it has been heavily rumored and speculated that cardi b wouldn't drop her own lead single to her new album or a new album until Nicki minaj made an announcement or Nicki dropped her album first and Nicki did announce her album a few months back and just last week she dropped her single titled last time i saw you and now a week later cardi b is now coming out saying that her and megan the stallion now have a new single coming out as i mentioned before only a week after Nicki Minaj dropped her lead single. So yeah, it does look weird and we all know that Nicki Minaj's last name is Petty and she really doesn't like Meg or Cardi. So her releasing the cover art to Pink Friday 2 was indeed perfect shady timing. But you let me know how you feel about these topics down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video and until next time, bye.